Thoughts on Tonga and the Pacific Nations? Because the rise of Tonga in the last few years, obviously you've lost a few players over there. Is that probably been the benefit for the global game? And it, do you think it's a good thing? And also, do you think, because if you look at the number of players playing in the NRL, Samoa should be the strongest out of those other Pacific nations after New Zealand. Uh, and it's probably down to the structure, the management structure, to to get the players playing for Samoa, uh, to, to get the rise. But Fiji, Samoa, Cook Islands, we, do we need to give these guys a bit more structure, a bit more funding to get them up to that level of New Zealand, Australia, Tonga now? I think when we talk about the professionalism of, you know, the next tier, yep. um, taking that international level, I think funding's where it's at. I yeah. think, you know, funding these um, these nations um, with what they deserve um, is only going to grow our game and that's where we as players want our game to go. We, we want it to, to be at a level playing field for everyone. So, you know, the fans are right behind it. We've seen what Tonga um, <laughs> are doing right now and, um, you know, we're excited as, as New Zealand for them to grow, you yeah. know, as well as Samoa, Fiji and the rest of them for sure. He's, he's a great bloke, David Argyle, who owns Toronto, doing some amazing work, and he's looking at the global game, and I believe he, he's got me thinking globally. We, we've had a few good like workshops on it, and I believe that if we had a proper international schedule with a couple of breaks in season, with with big games, big global games, that's when you're going to get global partners. That's when you're going to get a Coca-Cola looking at the sport going, this is a proper global sport, let's let's back it up. And that's when you get the money and the broadcast deals, the global broadcast deals, to give these countries more money, to fund. That's where the money's going to come from. We've got to have a global perspective.